Let's just go back to 1968. John Thomas and Alex Green um, were on the beach in um, uh, the English Bay, and they saw a, an article in the newspaper of a guy doing a high fall. And they looked at each other and said, hey, you think we should be stuntmen? And that's how they kind of got started. Um, Alex Green, and, and uh, unfortunately he's passed now as well, but um, he and, and John Thomas were best friends and they would run together and they would do their whip acts and they would do the gun spinning and do all those kind of things. And um, the Wardlows became part of their group as well. But over a period of time, um, he felt that there was a more of a need uh, in special effects because as these films came to Canada, they never had a special effects, a Canadian special effects coordinator. So that's how he sort of segued into the film industry uh, and never looked back. Um, he started a business, um, started a little business up in uh, Panorama Film Studios, which now is gone as well. Uh, but that's where our first shop was, and, and that's where we went. They were doing Let's Make a Deal up there, and oh gosh, so many other old projects. But it was an incredible place. I, just to be part of that kind of history is amazing. You would be able to walk up the uh, side of the mountain for lunch because it was just pristine and wild, and that's not like that anymore. Well, John Thomas was really a... Um, he knew how to bring people together. He could really talk. He felt that the movie industry was just absolutely the best thing that could happen. And for him, that kind of camaraderie was amazing. He could talk to people. He could talk to directors and producers. And he could talk to um, a bum on a street with a dog. And he would bend down and pet that dog. He had this incredible heart. Uh, even though he would say, hey, you over there, grab a muffin and clean up, it would be a sparkle in his eye, a twinkle in his eye. He would teach people and train people who worked with him. Uh, he never took credit for himself. He said, you know what? I'm only as good as my crew.